Good news everyone, Futurama is back. This sci-fi cartoon has blasted back onto our TV screens a whole decade after its last episode in 2013. So, did it feel like no time had passed at all, or was it a disappointing return? The writing and the executive producing really went downhill towards the end. Well, grab yourself a slurm as I break this episode down, give you my honest thoughts, and my hypnotoad rating. The episode picks up exactly where the last one ended, with a much older Fry and Leela journeying back in time with the Professor to the moment when everything froze. And with that, the show wastes no time in getting meta. It feels like we got rebooted! In fact, the entire episode is a commentary on Futurama's 10-year hiatus. It is very self-referential, and maybe it does overplay a bit too much, but seeing as Futurama has been revived like three times by now, the jokes about its continued cancellations are still funny. But hopefully they don't overkill it too much by carrying it over into the following episodes. Back at Planet Express, the crew learns that the date is July 24, 3023, and having spent 23 years in the future, Fry feels like he hasn't accomplished anything in that time. It's really sad if you think about it. <laughs> so he announces that he is finally gonna set himself a goal, which is to watch every single TV show ever made, and Leela, not wanting to crush his dreams, goes along with it. But I don't want to crush his dreams. Hermes, can you crush his dreams? Oh no. Anyway, Fry opens up Fulu, and with that comes a lot of funny references. There's the clamp maid's tail, head lasso, and Blob's burgers. So Fry decides to put on the scary mirror. This is a parody of Black Mirror, a successor to the scary door, which in itself is a parody of the Twilight Zone. So Fry manages to watch absolutely everything, all except for the final season of All My Circuits. And he is absolutely crushed when he finds out how many episodes there are. I wonder how many episodes were in it. 12, no, 13,020. So to support her boyfriend's pointless dream, Leela mentions that he could be hooked up to a binging device that will allow him to watch everything. But the crew warn him that it's dangerous, but even still, he naturally doesn't listen. Ow! My cortex! So, now hooked up to the binging device, Fry spends months watching the robot soap opera, and eventually he starts nearing to the end of the season. So, good news, right? Well, no, because the professor announces that Fry could die if there aren't any more episodes to watch. So, Leela and Bender decide to go to Fulu to revive the All My Circuit show from cancellation. And with this comes countless more meta jokes about reviving a cancelled show. Remember that show, All My Circuits? The one that got cancelled three times? Exactly! They succeed in bringing it back and start recording new episodes, but when Fry switches to binging the show in double speed, the crew have to work overtime to keep up with continuously airing new episodes. And naturally, this breakneck speed kills the director and exhausts the writing team. I can't even manage to write an hour-long episode every 15 minutes. I died doing what I hated. So it's left to Bender to take over as the head writer. Now, this plot point is very prophetic, considering it was written one whole year ago. Because in case you didn't know, the writers and actors are currently on strike against poor working conditions, less pay, and AI taking their jobs. And while we are on this important topic, I just wanted to quickly say that I am completely behind these strikes. I was seriously considering not even reviewing Futurama at all, but after some research, I found out that the unions don't want you to boycott TV shows and movies, and are in fact happy with people reviewing their members' work. And what's more, this movement really hits home for all of us, seeing as the people currently striking are the same people behind this show and others we love like The Simpsons. So if you want more information on what's happening, what's going on, and if you want to help out, then I put some very important links down in the description below. So continuing on, the Fulu executives come in and act the show yet again. So with no new episodes to show Fry, the crew bring in the actors to him in an effort to safely ease him off the binging. But despite their efforts, it was all for naught, seeing as Fry came out of the machine himself a whole two days ago. Funnily enough, it was Bender and Leela's involvement in the show that made Fry quit binging, because the quality took a nosedive. I mean, they were unwatchable. So, there's a little message for you executives. Bring in AI and robots to write the scripts, and 
the fans will leave. This episode ends with Fry delivering an impassioned speech to the president about the dangers of binging. Viewers must binge responsibly, the same way they smoke cigarettes or drink bleach. Futurama does what a great sci-fi should, comment on things that are happening today just with a futuristic makeover. Therefore, this episode comments on streaming culture and binging content, as well as what happens when you push creative people to the extreme. I love binge watching television as much as the next person. I'm literally on my 10th rewatch of Friends by now. But the bad thing is, is that binging TV shows can cause episodes to blend into each other and not allow your brain enough time to absorb what you have just watched. But the great thing about the new season of Futurama is that it's going to be released an episode a week, not all in one go, therefore giving us something to look forward to every single week. Now, I have to admit that I was really nervous when I first heard that they were bringing Futurama back. This is because I felt that Meanwhile had a perfect ending. It was such a beautiful episode and I really loved seeing Fry and Leela growing old together. Therefore, the idea of them going back in time to do it all over again was just the perfect finale to the show. So, did I feel that this episode justified its return? No, I don't really think so. But am I still happy it's back? Absolutely. I mean, this is only the first episode of the season after all, with around 20 in total. So although I was hesitant, I am so glad to say that the show hasn't missed a beat. After so long of being off the air, I was a little nervous that it may have lost its spark, especially as I didn't love all of the movies. But I have to say that this episode does feel like an old classic Futurama episode. And I did watch this first thing in the morning before I even had my breakfast. And trust me, I'm no morning person. But even still, this episode did have me laughing. Like this scene where Farnsworth snips off Leela's hair. Hey! Oh boo hoo, it's a metaphor. Don't take it literally. And Calculon never fails to make me laugh. Asking an actor to ad lib is like asking a guy to five. In all honesty, it was just so great to see these characters again. It's like greeting old friends you haven't seen in years. And I just love that even in episode one, we got appearances from classic side characters, like the robot devil. Hey, Calculon! Yes? You're wanted on set! And even a much older Slurms Mackenzie. Overall, this was a really solid episode. It wasn't one of its best, but it wasn't trying to be. I feel it was just supposed to be a fun reintroduction of the show and its characters. And it did definitely work well in carrying on as though time hadn't stood still, and the characters felt just as they had, which in all honesty is just what I wanted. So with all that being said, I'll give it 4 Hypnotodes out of 5. So what did you think of this episode? Did you love it or were you a little let down? Do let me know in the comments and I'll see you in my next review.